Hey guys, James here today, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Room Build. Today, I think we're going to be building a bathroom, as the title probably suggests. I've always wanted to build a really extravagant, kind of large bathroom. Uh, so, I guess that's exactly what we're going to do. So, <laughs> I'm just going to start up building sort of a shape I want to go with, and then we'll, I guess, we'll continue from there. So, uh, I just want to drag it out like this. I, I guess I'll just do a, a standard sort of shape, and then we can sort of add and remove from it as we go on. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, we got move objects on sheet now. It's pretty exciting stuff. Let's put that on right now. BB dot move objects. Enter. There we go. All right. So uh, let's figure out how I want to do this. I probably want to have a dividing wall in here somewhere. Maybe a little bit further because I want this front area to be sort of, sort of you know the all, all these sort of lavish bathrooms always have you know like this really awesome bathtub area with beautiful big windows. You can see everything, and everybody can see everything too. If you know what I mean. Uh, all right, so let's figure out what windows we want to do. Probably, we won't go full size. Like, I guess we could go full length windows, but I don't know if I want to do that. Like, I don't know if I want full length windows. I mean, it kind of just sort of, oh, if this could move objects and make an annoying place for windows. There we go. Um, I mean, we could do windows like that, but then it definitely just sort of shoehorns the room into being, into having to be a, in a modern home. I mean, it looks good from the inside. I mean, ideally we change those. I don't know. Let's uh, let's just go with a uh, different windows. Let's go with these windows for now. I would like to put these in the middle though, so they don't keep going up and down like that. So we're gonna try and get roughly the middle, and then we'll try and get roughly the same height. It's pretty close. Uh, and then on the sides, uh, we will not do that because that is too big. I don't know if there is a a window that really matches it that is singular. I mean, we could do. Oh yeah, you can't stack windows. Never mind. Um, hmm, maybe we just leave it then. Maybe we get, uh, is there like a, a large window that's sort of modern, but not full height and single tile? I think I'm asking too much. I don't think it exists. Um, the reason I didn't want to use these windows is like I said, it sort of forces, oh, that was weird. You see that? Like, what is that? Ooh. Ah, uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, sort of... Well, that looks stupid. Let's get rid of those windows. <laughs> maybe we just do go- maybe we do just go large windows. Just screw it and go large- full-size windows, large windows. Like that. And don't- we don't have anything on those, so it's just that bit there that's glass. I guess that could work. I mean, I definitely have to go to modern house then, probably. Alright, let's go to nighttime. Just because I want to get a couple lights in here first, before we go any further. Let's go into our lighting. And grab out some of uh, some of these because these are quite bright. I just want to make it light enough that we can see what we're doing. Awesome. Okay, so let's figure out what flooring we want to put in now. Uh, we're gonna probably spend a long time uh, on the decoration of this. I'll tell you what. Do we want to go like pretend like like we're super fancy by having a floor like that, or do we want to go like a marble floor? Do they have different colors? <gasps> they totally do. Let's go like white marble. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful floor, actually. That is very nice. Okay, let's go with that. Um, and then we want to... probably want a dark color. Some dark uh, wall colors. What does that look like? That's pretty classy, but it's not what I'm after. Uh, what about in here? There's a ton of color options in here. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I don't know. I think it definitely needs to be like a... Hmm, something like that. Is there, well, first of all, let me have a look at the tile wallpapers. Is there like a matching wallpaper for the, the fanciness that is that tile there? That is sort of marble flooring. I mean, that's kind of fancy. But is it, is it, I guess the question is, is it fancy enough? And the answer is probably no. Which is a shame. Um, is there a marble wall in this game? I don't even know. That'd be good though. Let's get full marble wall. Uh, rock and stone? No, not in there. Well, it's not going to be in there, is it? Um, tile. It would have to be in this category. That just does not look good. Hmm. Okay, let, let's go back to one of these. Let me just put that on for now. We'll have a look. Go for a, a pretty, pretty strong green. Hmm. Maybe we do just go with that. And then we also have a uh, sort of separate walls out of different materials. Let's see what we do with that. Have a wooden wall in the middle there. That's always nice. A little break it up a little bit. 
Oh, actually, this looks a little bit fancier. Oh, yeah, that looks that looks so fancy, dude. Yeah. Damn, you're fancy. Um, okay, then I do want tiles somewhere. Probably wherever we do the shower. Uh, but we'll figure that out later. <laughs> we'll figure that bit out later. All right, so let's go into our bathrooms. So we're gonna go bathtub. It's definitely, oh, see, I would say this, I, I would say I want this bathtub, but then you definitely need something like this, don't you? Like just a really fancy one. Just there like that. Just in the middle of the room, just there. It's beautiful. And then we obviously get decorations around it. Do you want to go for like a, a black bathtub? No, let's go, let's go white, white. Okay, and then we're gonna want to get some mirrors probably. Uh, do any of these actually join if you put them next to each other? Do, uh, they don't. Oh, we can overlap them. Are they glitchy? No, they're not. <gasps> yes. So you can make it look like one large mirror. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't really want one large mirror there, though. I just like that you can do that. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get a picture there, though. That's definitely what we need to put there. Oh, actually, maybe. Oh, maybe we should do like a, a plant wall. And by that, I mean having plants on the wall. Um. We got move objects, so we can put anything on the wall, but not all of these. Pff, Jesus, look at that. Uh, should we do like a shelf there, or should we just go for... Like, I mean, could we... Because we can make it look like some of these things are on the wall, right? So we just hold alt and sort of put it there. Kind of looks like it's on the wall, I guess. Not real. It doesn't look like it's supported in any, in any way. I mean, I guess we could use some of these. Hmm... No, nah, maybe we'll go for... Oh, see, it needs... Okay, so you, you're sitting that way, you're looking out. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Actually, what do we have? Let's go into the foliage. Let's look at flowers. What do we have in here? Oops, did not mean to do that. Because I was thinking we could make it look like these are sort of um, in little pots or something in here for something that looks like now. Oh, <gasps> sunflowers. So many possibilities. Um... I don't think any of these particularly look like they would go in a pot, though. An indoor pot, anyways. Maybe any of these, some of these? That's far too big. Could do a cacti in a pot. Oh, that would actually look kind of cool. Oh. <laughs> so if we put, like, this in it... Is that... It's a little too small, isn't it? Is it? I can't even tell. Hang on. Let's do it this way. Yeah, it's a little bit too big. I mean, too... Yo, the cactus is too big. Uh, it's not quite right. That's far too small. Let's make it bigger. It's far too big. <laughs> Damn, are none of these the right size? That was going to be such a good idea. Oh, damn. Uh, ill. <laughs> That's all I have to say to that. Okay, so there's a little bit of a problem in my plan. Um, oh, this is actually cool now because I'm not going to do this, but I just, I just saw this. This is cool because you could move objects on. Get more plants on the. You could get even more, yeah, stuff on this little cart. Make it look like really, really sort of packed. You're awesome. You do stuff like that. All right, let's get rid of those. Um. All right. So that plan didn't go quite as I planned. Those are quite fancy. Maybe we could get some of these on some little sort of end table thing. Oh, I I can never find stuff properly. I mean, I can, but I, I always click on the wrong thing first. Um. All right, so we want a nice little table. See, none of these I really feel are appropriate. Maybe we could use this. That just looks cheap and horrible. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> is there like a nice table though? Um, I just want a, t a little table, just a little thing to put the the pot on. Is this floating? Oh, it totally is. Did not realize. <laughs> Down to the ground. Oh, there we go. Um, what is the cheat? BB dot uh, ignore unlocks entitle. Wait, is that the no? In, ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. There we go. Such an annoying cheat. There we go. Now we can use this thing. I've never used this. Can I put this in there? No. All right. Anyways, that was just unlocking all the career items. All right, let's, uh, you know, continue and, and not spend a million years doing one thing, which is probably what we're going to end up doing. So let's have a look. Uh, these are quite nice counters, actually. I've never been able to use them. So I think we'll do the washing up sort of basin area here, probably. 
Um, I wonder, maybe we should, oh, sorry. Can you just, just go there? Do we, we probably want to, I don't, I don't know if I really like these counters necessarily. We probably, I was going to say, we probably want to do, uh, two basins. His and her, his and her sink. Uh, what are the other color choices on this? Go the black one. I don't know, they, they don't look that fancy though, do they? Like, they don't, they don't really scream elegance. Beauty. Style. They scream none of those words that I just said. Um, none that exist, particularly. None of these really do. There's nothing really that fancy, unfortunately. Um, I guess we go with this. That's probably as, as stylish as it's gonna get. Yeah, that'll do, mate. That'll do, mate. Okay, let's go have a look at our sinks. And then we gotta also figure out where we're gonna put the toilet and all that. Because <laughs> we haven't done that bit yet. Probably have a little an offshoot on the side here somewhere. I don't know. We'll have a look. So we're gonna go... Oh. Oh. Wait, what colors can this be? That looks awful. Probably not a bathroom sink. That's quite nice. Is that like a... Uh, uh... I don't know. I don't know if it's like probably a bathroom sink or just... I don't know. What does that look like? Not very nice. Okay, let's see what color choices we have. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're all pretty awful, so let's not go with any of those. What about this one? So one that has taps that don't look stupid. What about this? Why does the tap always match the color of the sink? I don't want the tap to match the color of the sink. I want a different tap color. See, that's got a gold one. But I want like a... A white sink and like a metallic sort of tap. Well, not metallic, but you know, like chrome kind of tap. But it's... That's not what I want! That doesn't look good either. Alright, might just have to go with one of these. <laughs> that looks like a kitchen sink though with all those things there. It looks weird. It probably is a kitchen sink, is it? This says raw industrial sink. Alright, maybe we won't go with an industrial sink. Let's go with this one. That's probably... That looks like a kitchen sink as well because the tap is so high. Hmm. I don't like any of these things. I put that in there? Could do. Don't want to though. I would just go with one of these. Bath sink. Simplicity sink. Oh, I don't know. I don't like any of these. I've never realized, but I've ne I don't like any of these things in the game. Alright, let's go with the most expensive one again. Let's choose a color that isn't awful. Like a start, that's supposed to be like chrome, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. That'll do, mate. Let's get some nice mirrors uh, behind it now, of course. Uh, they won't be able to use those mirrors, though, will they? So maybe we won't bother with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, they might be able to with move objects. Or maybe not, actually. Because I guess because objects are in the way. Does it matter, though? Do they need to use it? Probably not. Um, where is that? Oh, does it go behind it? That's annoying. I was hoping that these would, like, pop out the front. Now, that one pops it. That doesn't pop it. That one pops it. We could have a couple of poppies on the front there, like that. Yeah. Because then they could actually use these as well, which would be useful. Get a black color or something. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, and then what we might do is do maybe cabinets on the side here. To sort of finish it off. Finish off uh, the illustrious look. Uh, a little too tall, unfortunately. But we can do that and get rid of the cabinet. That's not even the same color, though. <laughs> is that the same? I guess it is the same color. Wait, is it the same color? Hang on. I think so. I actually can't... No, that's definitely not the same color. But isn't that the matching cabinet? That's weird. Alright. That... Oh, hang on. Recolor. Recolor. Where's the recolor thing? Oh, it's above it. Um, maybe go black then. Black cabinet. There's also no point in having a that large mirror there. We'll change that to a smaller one. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to my room builds. They just go on forever. Uh, especially with uh, move objects on. There, we'll put a third mirror in there to finish it off. There you go. So it's nice secluded area there for the tub. When, I mean, shouldn't we just make these black then? I don't know if it's just getting too dark now, though. Maybe. 
I don't know. I don't know. We can always re- we can always revisit in a moment's time. Uh, all right. So the the bath, uh, not the bath, the the toilet. Uh, probably want to do that. Well, let's figure out where the entrance to this bathroom is going to be. Let's say the entrance is here, and then we'll design the rest of the room around that. So we're going to have these double doors coming in. Beautiful. So you walk in. This beautiful room. Uh, bathtub around this side. Probably want to have a shower somewhere, generally, is what you'd want. What am I doing? I keep clicking on the wrong things. Go to Windows. Get a large window. Uh, I can't seem to rotate it. There we go. Just trying to figure out how I want to do the shower, because I, I definitely want, like, a, a thing. Okay, so anyways, let's figure out. Uh, do we... Maybe we just... Block that up. No, we won't block that off. So if we, okay, so this is obviously the sort of, you know, preparation area where you beautify yourself. Uh, maybe we get some more of these over here. More sort of little cabinets, right? No, what would you need that for? Should be like a dressing area. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's do that. So like the little uh, sort of cupboards in here. Not cupboards, but little kind of closet thing. Oh, is this not a room now? Stupid thing. There we go. Now it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do, the idea here was to turn that area into... Uh, well, first of all, I don't want that uh, at all. Um, no, I guess we have to go into decorations to find it. It is... I'm looking for those sort of little clothes racks. Did I go past them? I don't see them. Uh, wall decorations? Oh, yeah, they're there. Okay. So let's use some of these. So you go there. Let's change the color up a little bit. Uh, move that over. Okay, plenty of clothes. I'm trying to make these look different from one another. Oh, there we go. Maybe do those there. Hang on, move this up a little bit. Oh, I guess move it up there. Okay, uh, I don't know if I like that, but uh, we'll go with it. And then we have this one there. And then we get out a little dresser Put underneath. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like that one. Let's go with, oh, I guess this one's good because it's just sort of the standard block. If we then put a wall there. Oh, but that's not part of the same room, is it? Damn. All right. Because, uh, yeah, I need, I need to say, make sure this is one room. We can't do any sort of doors or anything into other rooms. Look at this. I just wanted to make this look like it was sort of sectioned off. Like, you know, like it would be... Can I do it? So you can't rotate the windows when they're not on a wall. But maybe if we do it like this. Have a couple walls like this. Bear with me. Bear with me. And actually, I should have painted them white. That would have made more sense. Uh, there we go. And then we pretend... We've got to play make-believe here, guys. Put a couple of windows on them. I don't know if I like this make-believe. But it's supposed to be like... <laughs> doors that are opening up. No. Alright, let's go... Let's go play... Oh, wow. I left the mirror... Not mirror. The, the, the window there. Let's, let's do it this way. I mean, we can go... Oh, unless we do it like this, get rid of that one. Oh, no, just move that window. Move that there. So that's kind of like that one's closed. Maybe you slid the door open or something. I don't know. Oh, it's just to be like a little set of little bit of decoration, really. It, it serves no purpose. Although, if I leave it open, you will actually be able to use the uh, little dresser there. So that could be useful. Might actually paint the back of that. Uh, and then what we can do is also put some lighting in there. Uh... Go to lighting. I'm gonna go wall lighting, of course. Get some of these little backlighting things. Put them behind. Uh, if I could see where I'm putting these, it'd be really helpful. There and there, I guess. I think I misplaced one of them. Um. Uh. God damn. All right. Let me just remove these so I can actually see. Alright, so I need to move that one over a bit. Hang on, put that back. 
and then move that. Now we're all good? Yeah, okay. Just make sure they're evenly spaced, so we get a little bit of lighting back there. That's good. So now you got like a sort of a little dressing area here. What I'll do as well, uh, is we can go into decorations all oh, once more. Uh, where are they? There they are. Miscellaneous. Where are the boot racks? Or the shoe racks? Uh, they're not going to be wall decoration, aren't they? They must be miscellaneous, right? What else would it be? Um, I don't see any shoe racks in here. Though. Where are my shoe racks? In? Maybe it's in sculptures? Why would it mean sculptures? Let's just go all. I don't know where they are. Are there even shoe racks in this game? They totally are, right? Or am I just making that up? A lot of soaps and stuff, which we'll definitely... Oh yeah, there they are. I don't know why I couldn't find them before. Alright, so we'll put some of these in. Change the colour so it matches the rest of the hoose. Or the room, actually. There we go. Um, I guess we could do some folded clothes on top. Maybe a... No, not that. Where's the... um? The other stuff. Little snaggle. Little basket of clothes. Uh, let's just go into by room. Bathroom, I think it's in. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Let's do this and then put it on top of the um, little dresser here. Do that. There we go. We can even put more clothes up here, I guess. Can we? Oh, actually, we might have to do it if we do it like this. Like, so separately. When it's not sitting there. So it doesn't snap onto it, then we can add more. Uh, where is it? There it is. So let's move that up. Is that the same height? Can't tell. Nope. There we go. Oh, damn it. Stupid thing. Put about there. Is there anything else we could chuck on top? Uh, I wouldn't mind chucking a little coat rack thing in there too. There we go. Let me put that back, then we have the two clothes sitting there, a little basket. Oh, there you go, that's beautiful! That looks good. Uh, so it's a little dressing area. Now, that makes sense. Let's get rid of that as well, because I don't want that light. Uh, let's grab some more of those. And I'm going to put them... Uh, what is this? Don't like that. What is this? Oh, that's an interesting little light. Maybe we could use this. Put it... Sort of, I wanted to put it there. Along the little top section there. Um, although... Maybe move it down a little bit. So it merges into the cabinets a bit and fits a little bit nicer. Um, probably still need more lights in here, but uh, it's coming along very, very nicely, if I do say so myself. Um, I was just thinking, maybe, I don't know if I even, I don't know if I really like this sort of thing. It seems kind of bulky, this whole, this whole thing in the middle. I think maybe, hang on, let's get, let's get rid of all that. And that as well. And even that. Let's just go back to basics. Because uh, I, I really like that. I think that's kind of cool. Um, a little bit of detail. Let's get the, the mirrors. Because what if we do just freestanding mirrors like this? Uh, where did I put that? Sort of just on the in line with the tap there. Um, probably a little bit closer together because you want we want a little bit more privacy than that. So if we do that, bring it about there, is it? Yeah, so we use the mirrors as dividers. Uh, and obviously have mirrors on this side too, so it doesn't look stupid. <laughs> Get them back to back. Alright, alright. So, so far so good, yeah. So we have the two set of mirrors. Or the, the mirrors in the middle of the room. Uh, like that. Okay. And then, what we do instead, instead of having a wall... Uh, actually, where's all that bathroom stuff? Maybe we could get some of these in. I don't know. Um... What I do want to do though, I want some shelves. Ah, categories. Okay, <laughs> surfaces, shelves. Here we go. This is what I want. Why is there no white shelf? Just white plain shelf. That's what I want, but doesn't exist. Oh, it's kind of hard to make it move. Oh, actually, I guess I can just move it up myself, can't I? 
Um, hmm. If we go for... I guess we'll do a black shelf then. It's a little bit darker, but we'll get some lights over in a minute. Oh! I forgot that uh, pressing 9 moves you around. I have to hold down control. So let's go about there. Pro actually, we probably want about counter height. That, that's pretty much spot on counter height. Just a little bit high, so that's fine. So if we go there. One there. Oh, I've got to do it again. One there. Is that the same height? That's uh, a little bit lower. That's still a little bit lower. There we go. I should probably have moved that one back because that is completely floating. That is uh, my bad. <laughs> I'll move that back in a second. Oh, why did they go back to the floor? There we go. I'll go right about. Let's just line those up. There. Okay, so we now have a little sort of ledge there. That's looking fancy. And then we can go for... Maybe one of these. I don't want me to place one of those. One of these, these are always fancy. Let's get one of these. Put them up on top of this. But in the, let's put it in the middle. Uh, also, probably not floating. Probably a good idea if we make these things actually on the surface they're supposed to be on. But put it right in the middle there. Okay. A little bit of a little bit of red. Let's we need some lights. We need some lights. So let's get rid of this. Oh! <laughs> Not that. Let's get rid of this. Okay, now let's get some proper lighting in here so we can see what's going on. So I kinda like these lights. Uh if we put them sort of merge it into the mirror, maybe? Or maybe if we even just use this one and put it inside the mirror. Kind of like that. Or maybe this, actually. Go like that. Get a couple of them. One there, one there. We'll probably adjust them in a minute as well. It'll come up. Two there. Get one on the top. Uh, just adjust this a little bit. To there. And then we're going to get up. To there. Okay. Let's go night time so we can see what kind of lighting we're working with here. Alright, that looks pretty good from this side here. Get a nice little view through there. Still got a little bit of privacy for the bathtub. Nice, nice. I want to grab some curtains though, because that'd probably be useful as well. Decorations, curtains. Let's grab some of my favorite ones that I keep using. Uh, these are good. So sort of like that. So it looks kind of like the curtains are open currently, but they're not. There's a lie, they're not actually open. Um, yeah, so you still have nice big windows, a little bit of privacy with the curtains there. Uh, I think we'll get some... Um, see, I would love to have... Uh, I guess we can use these, actually. <gasps> I got an idea. Oh, wait, which side do they enter the bath from? Uh, I guess this side, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to grab a sim. Uh, let's go manage well. We'll save manage. I'm just going to grab a sim and put him in there because I want to make sure they can get in the bathtub. Because I want to put some shelves sort of merged into the bathtub a little bit. Um, let's just steal this dude. Oh, actually, no, he comes with a billion sim for some reason. Unplayed household. Is there just a single single sim household? If they could load the thumbnails any slower, that would be good. There we go. Oh, Zest. Here he is. Uh, moving. I can't even afford a single bathroom. <laughs> Tree real estate on escape. There we go. That's the one. Yeah, let's play that. Okay, so we're just going to use him to test it real quick. And actually that will be good because we can also change the colors of the lights if we want to. Alright, so... Can you just go take a bath show me which side you get in? So you do get in this side. Okay, get out. Get out of there. There we go. That's all I wanted. And then I'll also get you to test it when we put this shelving on. So the idea I had was I want to... Uh, as well rotate it this way. Put it sort of merge it into the bathtub somewhat. Probably that way a little bit. And we go. Probably about there. Get another one just here as well. Same height. Hopefully it won't look too glitchy or anything. It does glitch out a little bit. You can I don't know if you can tell, but it is actually glitching out there a little bit, but I think that's okay. Because, the I mean, the idea I had here was that we have a little sort of shelf there so you can add on, you know, some, some little decoration kind of things. Oh, where did they go? What? 
Hang on. What happened? Oh, because I pressed undo when I was holding the plant. That was weird. Um, <laughs> anyways, this is here. so the point was I was going to add on these little candles here. Which, do you know what's important to place on it? But that's okay, because we can, we can cheat it on. Uh, have some candles next to the bathtub. On this little, sort of, little table kind of thing there, I guess. Would have been nice to have, like, sort of pink colored candles or something. Make it a little bit nicer. We'll go red, so it just matches the little watering can kind of thing over there. Um, do we want to put the little row? Where do we want to put that? Uh, we could put it... I mean, I guess we could put it in the middle of... The... No, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? That makes no sense. Uh, Alright, so for these... Oh, I love that we can... Like, things that normally go on walls, when they're not on walls with move objects, you can place them anywhere. That wasn't a possibility in, sort of, Sims 3. Okay, now that sticks through. I want to chuck these on the side here. A little cabinet. Uh, so... This one. I uh, don't like that, but... I guess we could go with that. I don't like it, but I guess we could go with it. No, I don't like that. Um, I'd like to put a little soap there. I wish it didn't keep intersecting with the sink. Uh, oh yeah, so I haven't done a toilet yet. We'll get around to the toilet eventually. Um... Maybe these ones. What color can we do these? We can do like a... I'm gonna do like a fancy sort of white color. Yeah, that's fine. Something like that. Put it there. Oh, let's move it this way a little bit so it doesn't go through. About there, I guess. Mm, that's all right. About there. There you go, it looks like you have a little towel on the side there now. I'm not going to do it on the other side as well, we'll just have it on that side. Uh, that'll be fine. Uh, as for our little robes, I guess we can do sort of robes and stuff over here. Oh, that's a good idea. I know what we can do. Get a whole bunch of these, because these can actually be used to play stuff on now. Uh, we got a couple of these, I think. Maybe we'll go... Sort of like that. Maybe just like that, actually, and then we'll get some of these. Um, maybe about there or something. Okay, so we can just because the cool thing is now, yeah, now we can actually put stuff on top of the on top of these things. I think it was really weird. Like we had these like shelf things, and you could never place anything on them. Like you couldn't even place the towels on them. Just didn't work. But now we can, thanks to move objects. So we'll do that. I don't know if I like that on the floor. It just looks sort of messy. It's supposed to be kind of fancy, so. I guess ideally you want to keep this as sort of clean, but sensual looking as possible. That's a little bit floaty there. Uh, bring this down. Wait, did that go down? No, it's still up. Uh, that goes through it though, though. What about on the upper level? Oh, that's better. Yeah, it's, it, it kind of sits properly on the top here, so we'll use it on the top. Yeah, it doesn't go through. That's good. Uh, okay, and then we want to probably have a little bathrobe kind of thing. We'll do it on this wall here. Um, get okay, one there, and maybe another one. A couple of them, you know, you too, you too, you can share the tub. Um, what else could we put on this? I mean, I guess we could just put more towels, but is there anything else interesting we could do on this? I don't know. Uh, let's get some of these lights though, actually, that'd be useful. And one there, and one there. I'm gonna light up the area a little bit. And let's also get in... These are little pictures we could do. Actually, where's that other wallpaper? Because I, I did like the other wallpaper we had um, for some of the places. Was it this that I just changed? Or was it something else? Maybe it was a wood. Uh, wood panel. Yeah, it's this one. So this isn't bad, but I need to, I need to use it somewhere. Maybe on the, maybe we'll just use it on that wall there. Make it look a little bit, a little bit fancy. <sighs> Cause I already know. Oh, you already know. I don't know the lyrics to that. Never mind. <laughs> Shouldn't have tried. <laughs> Shouldn't have tried. You probably don't even know what I'm singing because it's so bad. Um, this area here. I don't know. I want to do something there. Maybe just a little chair. A little fancy chair. Uh, is there a fancy chair? What am I doing? So not surfaces. God damn. Comfort. 
Uh, those chairs, this chair. I think I'm. I think I'm thinking of a chair that's in The Sims Three that would go there. Um, I don't know. What else would you have in a bathroom that that could go there? Uh, I don't know. We'll leave that for now. All right. Let's figure out where. So this area is probably going to stay like that. Let's figure out where we're going to put the the toilet and the shower because we haven't even done that yet. <laughs> oh damn. All right. So we're going to go. I think we'll go. Shower. We'll go like in here like this. So I'll go like that. Okay, first of all, let's extend that in there so it actually is part of the room. There we go, like that. So then we'll do like use one of these windows as like part of the shower. I don't know why that's making so much light in there. I don't know why it's doing that. But that'll be part of the shower there. So that'll be like I, I, when we actually get sort of open showers that aren't completely contained, that will make more sense. But for now, that'll do. And then the, the, the toilet, or the john, can go in here, I would say. Actually, let's build the room first and then remove the wall. There we go. Yeah, it's all part of the same room. Good. Um, Alright, so in there we definitely want that to be tiles, because that's supposed to be the shower area. So let's go with a... Probably just a white tile, like that. Why? I don't know why that window is making it so bright. How, what? Like when it's... any? How come anything on the other side of this window is like super bright? Look. Why is that light? Yeah, okay, so apparently in The Sims 4 you can use windows to produce light. Somehow. What? Look! If I do it the other way. No, it still does it. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Um... <laughs> that's annoying because I wanted a window there, but it kind of looks stupid. It's producing a crap ton of light. Uh, I don't know what to do about that then. I guess... Well, it's bright. If you need it that bright. Okay, so then... I don't know if I really wanted to use this whole spot. I don't know what to do with the toilet, really. Just need somewhere to, to poop. Just need a throne somewhere. I was just going to do it like that, I guess. Just in the little nook. Um, like that. <laughs> Has a little toilet nook. Uh, we need some lights though. Oh, that one goes through the uh, wall a little bit. I'll have to move that. Okay, that's fancy. Need something in it though. Uh, what can I do in there? What do you have next to a toilet? I mean, besides toilet paper. I mean, I guess it doesn't really need anything. Like, it, it can just be... It can just look good, I guess. Let's get the, uh, let's get this wall, actually. I like that. Ah, oh, it's beautiful! Uh, let's go for a... First, actually, let's fix this light before I forget about it. And it's gone back to the ground. Thank you. Okay, so it needs to go there, but make sure it doesn't go through the thing. Okay, so... Well, in the middle of the mirror, about there, and let's bring it forward, bring it forward, bring it forward, about there. There we go, that's better. Alright, now over here, let's go ahead and grab out our toilet paper. A little, little jog. A little jog roll. I don't know why I said jog roll, I meant to say bog roll, but I started saying jog. A uh, clothes hamper would actually be useful. Maybe we chuck that over here. Well, it's not useful, it didn't actually do anything, but we'll put it over there. Um, yeah, that's not bad. I, I, I guess we would sort of do some plants here or something. Uh, this guy doesn't have money, which is kind of annoying. Now he does. Um, I wouldn't mind putting that on a little table, actually. That could look good. A little sort of end table kind of thing. Uh, where do I find end tables in this thing? Ah. Uh. <laughs> um. Why not even just that? Get a couple towels on it or something. Put this here. Okay, that's on top of it. Does it, go, it goes through the wall a little bit. Maybe do it in a different... Maybe that way? Or is that even worse? That's probably worse. Which way has the least... Th least floops going through the wall? I mean, I guess we we'll just sort of bring it forward a little bit. Should be alright. It goes through a little bit. That's alright. Uh, I would like to put some towels there. Oh, where did my towels go? What? Oh, where did that stuff go? All my stuff disappeared. 
Oh, my candle's disappeared. Okay. That's new. Um, alright, so I guess it disappeared when I moved him in. Did not realize that happened. Uh, that's weird. I've never, like, I, hadn't, I haven't had that problem before with move objects where it disappears, makes stuff disappear. Oh yeah, my little watering can disappeared. Oh, okay. Oh no, it didn't disappear. This is on the floor. Okay, well that's still there, but... Why did that happen? Like, because the, the shelves are still there. Alright, so, well I had pink towels here, didn't I? Alright, gotta put some of the stuff back. That was weird. And then I think I just had regular colored towels over this side. By regular, I mean white. There we go. A little bit, a little bit of towels. Uh, did I have anything else over there? Can't remember. I think I just had some candles as well on top of it. I don't know why that happened. That was weird. There we go. And then over here, I had clothes, and I had this thing. So let's put that back up. About there. That's good. And where are my clothes? Go back into decorations. That's kind of annoying that that happened. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen when I share the room. Uh, where the hell are the pile of clothes? That's the other question. I don't see them. I think, oh, clutter. I guess that would make sense. To be where they are. There it is. Um, whatever. I'm not going to put the second one on it. I'll just do the one. Um, what else? Do oh, yeah, we lost a little watering can thing, didn't we, too? Watering can. That's sad. I don't know why that happened. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. I mean, it's weird. Some of the stuff stay, but then just random items seem to want to disappear for some reason. Which is odd. No, don't stick that one. Put that there. Oh, that's floating. Whoops. Sorry about that. Is that better? Yeah, there you go. Oh, look. Look at the reflection. It's not reflecting anything. <laughs> it's reflecting the abyss. <laughs> that's weird. I thought, I, I thought this did reflect things properly outside the windows. Oh, I guess not. Because it just refl it looks like we're in the desert. When we look at that, there's like car lights over there or something. <gasps> it's a UFO! What was that? Is that actually- Oh, it actually is car light. It must be that car there. <laughs> that's weird. Well, there you go. Um, that's new. Well, it's not new. It's probably always been like that. Anyways, so, where was I? So, okay, we put that back. We need- we actually need a shower because we haven't actually bought one yet. So, we can't have a freestanding shower. So I guess we'll just get that thing, because it looks kind of nice, I guess. So when they eventually add a freestanding shower, this will make a little bit more sense, but... Until then... Not so much. Uh... I guess we can get some little... Little showery stuff in there. Keep it simple. Uh, over this side, I want to do some more towels. Can never have too many towels. I would like to put it on the bottom, though, not the top. Oh, it doesn't let me do that. Oh. There we go. That's what I wanted. Just a couple of little towels on the bottom there. Uh, that's pretty good. I guess we can do a little picture on this wall or something to sort of finish it off. Give it a, a beautiful, classy look. You know, something to look at while you, you're taking a dump. There we go. That's a pretty fancy bathroom, right? I mean... A little that there. Um, I mean, that's quite cluttered, but, you know, I think that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. There you go. There's your fancy ensuite bathroom for your mansions. Um, you got to have a pretty big house to make this bathroom be worthwhile, but there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and share this right now, right here on camera. Um, zero bedroom, zero bathrooms. Well, it's one bathroom, actually. Save room. Uh, it's going to be not a kitchen. It's a bathroom. Uh, large... Uh, luxurious, uh, luxurious, uh, I guess ensuite bathroom. Oh, okay, title's too long. Large luxurious bathroom. Uh, th this is a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> ensuite bathroom for your large contemporary, oh, if I could spell properly, contemporary homes. Uh, hashtag bathroom. Hashtag contemporary. Oh, <laughs> again, spell properly. Hashtag the sim supply. So you can find it. Of course, I will link this in the description down below so you can get it from there. $29,000 bathroom. So watch out, guys. Uh, actually, can I 
copy that? Because I want to make it daytime when I take this screenshot. And also, can I get the doors to close? There we go. <laughs> now let's do it. Oop, sorry. Because the, 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 the screenshots actually take it depending what time of day it is, in case you didn't know that. Handy little hint. Oh, oh thank god I can copy and paste that. <laughs> Uh, let's go luxurious, let's just change the name of it. Luxurious, uh... No, let's go contemporary. Oh my god. <laughs> luxurious bar... Okay, no, we can't do that. Let's just go... Let's just say large luxurious bathroom. There we go. Or maybe we should say ensuite, because it's more of an ensuite style of bathroom. Let's say ensuite. I don't know why I'm still recording this part of the video, but I am, so here we are. Uh, it's not a kitchen, it is a bathroom. Uh, posting that to the gallery, so you can go check that out now! Hopefully all those little move objects things work. Uh, I don't know why it disappeared when I moved the dude in, but... Anyways, thank you for watching this room build, guys! Of course, you can check it all out in the gallery. Oh, I forgot we gotta do the house tour, as we like to do. Uh, it's not daytime, though. Damn. Uh, okay, well, can I just... I was gonna say goodbye, but we, we need to do our room tour, you know? Uh, no, 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 I need to, um, cheat need, make happy, and then we can go, cheat need, d disable need decay. And let's just fast forward till morning. <laughs> and you just get stand there, Zess, get out of my way. Cool. Now we wait till it's, oh! I didn't say you could do that. I didn't say you could use the toilet. You must love the bathroom, though, it's pretty cool. Why are you tired? I turned off need decay. What? Wait, why are you getting tired? I, did, I specifically turned off. Everybody saw me do it! Do, uh, do I really need to do testing cheats first? Seems weird that I have an option to do it, but I can't actually use it. Make happy. There we go. More choices. Uh, Sable need decay. There you go. Go here. Alright, now we fast forward. Alright, let's just wait till we get some good lighting. And then we can go for a tour. Alright, here we go. This is what we're after. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the room tour! The party you've been waiting for! Ho oh, this whole time! This whole 40 minutes or whatever it took, 45 minutes? I don't know. Here we are! We come into the, the bathroom. On our left, we have two luxurious his and her sinks with mirrors ready to access. I am a vampire, of course, because you cannot see me in the mirror. Um, I do- I actually really like the look of this bathroom! I turn out really, really well, actually. Uh, it looks like the cabinets are floating because the way the mirror is reflecting and the floor looks white. So that little corner there makes it look like it's floating for some reason. But there you go. Uh, so there, there's our sinks. Off to the right, we have the dressing area. You can come here, get all your clothes, get your jackets, your shirts, your freshly ironed laundry, all your shoes, all that kind of good stuff right in there. We should probably test that dresser to see if it works in a moment. There's your clothes hamper, a little fern in the corner. You come into the large 2x2 two two shower, which contains a smaller 1x1 one one shower. And you get in here and have a shower. Uh, when the game introduces showers without uh, little boxes around them, then that will be useful. Here's our large pooping throne area. Go sit down on the toilet here. Ooh, there we are. Flush the toilet. There we are. And here is your luxury bathtub, which uh, you can both get in, look out over to the neighbor's house. Uh, depending where you place this, it might look better in other places. Uh, and then, of course, the nice mirrors there. A couple of little robes and some bath towels there. So there you go! That is your luxurious bathroom, your luxurious ensuite en bathroom that a lot of you guys did actually want to see. And I think this turned out really cool. I've never actually built a bathroom this big, I don't think, in any Sims game. So, there we go. Uh, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.